let's not piss around. Here's my top five tools in 2023 to improve your command line life. Enjoy. Tool number one is Zellage. It's a terminal multiplexer like Tmux, but actually works for humans. Let's remove my configuration and restart. You'll see we get an interface that gives us everything that we need to learn how Zellage works. You want a new tab? Done. You want a new pane? Done, done, done. Every time you enter a new mode, the commands are on the bottom. Control T for tab, Control S for search, Control P for pane. When you select one of these modes, the commands are right below it. You can see here, X will close my pane. Zellage is a fantastic tool, especially paired up with a terminal like Alacrity which is super fast, GPU rendered, and <laughs> written in Rust. What's not to love? So go check out Zellage and improve your terminal workflows now. Next up, another tool written in Rust. This time, Just. What is Just? Well, it's a makefile replacement that doesn't suck. We open up a Just file and it looks just like a makefile. However, we can use something called a default target, called default. We can use the at sign, so that it doesn't print out each of the commands. And also it has a mode where it can show you a chooser, which we'll see in just a second. There's no dot phony here at all. Just appreciates and understands that people were using make as a task runner. So just is a task runner. You can set a shebang on any target to allow you to run a script. Here, instead of using bash or sh, I'm actually throwing it through the Python interpreter. So we can run just shell, and we'll actually execute a Python process and interpret some Python code. We also have comments on each of our targets. These are shown on the command line when we run just with autocompletion. And you can also have parameters to your targets. Here, plan and deploy take a parameter called stack, which defaults to an empty string. And we're just using familiar Jinja or handlebars syntax to interpolate that into our commands. And just like make, you can have dependencies like so. So if I run just on its own, we get the chooser. If I run just shell, I get a Python process. No dot phony, things just work, go check out just. This next tool isn't written in Rust, but I'm gonna let it slide because it's written in Go and it boosts my workflow like no other tool. Let's DDN to my DNS directory. Now you'll see here at the top, the dart env ran. Why? Well, because there's a dot .envrc in this directory. It has now loaded another envrc because I told it to. And then it exports a bunch of variables or environment variables that I need for this project to actually do anything useful. Let's open this in Helix. Source up is what tells it to load any parent envrc. Why? Well, I set my Cloudflare account ID at the root of my mono repository. So I want to propagate it to all other services within the monorepo. Next, I export the Cloudflare API token, pulling it in from one password. Why? Because this particular service needs it. Lastly, I'm exporting raw code equals hello, just so I can show you what happens when I make a modification to this file. DirtM tells me it's not going to load it. It wants me to review and approve. Like so. Now we can do echo, hello, and we get hello too. Replace your .envs with envrcs and bring some sanity to your development environments. Let's jump straight back on that Rust train with atuin. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. A-T-U-I-N. This replaces all the history on my terminal. When I press up, you'll see the commands I just ran when I demoed dirt in, as well as the other commands that I've ran on this machine. Specifically, this directory, as you'll see at the bottom left of the terminal. Why do I want pair directory history? Well, the commands that I type are particularly context sensitive. When I'm in a Pulumi project, I'm going to run Pulumi up. When I'm in a Terraform project, I'm going to run Terraform apply. When I'm in a Kubernetes project, I'm going to cry for help. So use a history tool that gives you the commands that you need. But don't worry, you can hit Control R again for global search, Control R again for host search, because Atwin supports multiple machines. Configure your shared key and share your history across all your machines and laptops. Lastly, session. This is just the commands that I've entered while recording this video. So go check out Atuin. Never have to type out an actual command again. Last tool, and I'm being selfish, it's one of my own, Comtria. It's a dot file manager. Why? I wipe my machine almost every single month. Why? 
I like it to be clean. I like to start fresh. And I like to make sure that if shit ever hits the fan, I never lose that much. I use Comtria to provision all of my machines so they all function the exact same. It has cool support for variants, which means I can have a single manifest that installs Atuin, Zellige, Dartenv, etc. on Linux, Mac, BSD, whatever. It doesn't care. In fact, you can already see my Zellige configuration already back to normal. Why? Well, the last command I ran was Comtria apply dash M, which means I want to run a single manifest, dev.zellige. Let's take a look at dev.zellige. Here, I define a bunch of actions. One, package install. Two, config install. Job done. You want to see the variant syntax? Let's open variant.yaml. Here, I'm going to run a command. I set a marker to hello world, which becomes the default invocation of this action. Then I specify a variant where I can use an expression language to compare the OS name to macOS. When I run this on a Mac, it'll say hello from a Mac. This time I'm specifying double verbosity mode so that we can see the logs. And there's my Mac. Quickly, comtry.yaml allows you to specify manifest paths that supports remote paths too, the Git repositories. You can provide your own variables and you can even consume DNS text records. You can run comtry context show values and you'll see in the include variables, we have comtry a value a comtry a b value b. Why? Well, let's take a look at dog, a DNS tool written in Rust. These are real DNS text values on a real domain from one of the maintainers. Comtry is awesome. It has too many features to cover in this video, but you should go check it out. I hope you like these tools. If you've got tips for me and tools that I should check out, hit me up on Twitter. I've always got time to play with something new. Catch you later.